Hey there guys, it's Delta Fortnite here with an overview of my Marillus Action recording settings. For those of you that do not know what Marillus Action is, it is an extremely versatile screen recording program. You can record games, you can record your desktop, you can record in full screen, you can have overlays, your webcam, and multiple inputs, so many things. Um, it's really just a great screen recording program for anything. And um, I would highly recommend it if you are not familiar with it. I have a link to the Action website. Uh, you can learn more about it. Uh, but I'm going to be showing you what settings I use for the program and uh, for recording my videos. Uh, so I'm going to go through the tabs. I'm going to start with the video recording tab. Now, most of these tabs that you can see here, I don't use. Uh, but then when we get to the cogwheel gear thing, there's more tabs and I'll go through all of those. Um, but starting video recording so the recording mode if i'm recording games i use the game controller this is kind of self-explanatory but i do want to explain what they're all for uh, for you so i use the game controller for games and i always record in full screen and i use that works perfectly fine works very well actually and active screen is for my tutorials things that i want to record the entire screen um, but it's not a game. I use the active screen. I'm using the active screen right now. Um, then we have the screen region. Uh, so screen region, I sometimes use for channel updates. Really, if you just want to get a certain region of your um, screen and you want to be able to control um, the size of it, uh, then you can actually use the screen region. Um, I don't use that too often, but sometimes it does come in handy. Uh, now, do make sure that if you are using that, that you're recording in um, either a 4x3 or uh, what I would recommend is a 16x9 resolution um, with that. And you can look up what 16x9 resolutions are if you're interested or you want to know more about that. Uh, so the file format that I record in is AVI because that is definitely the most crisp option. Um, there's AVI and MP4. And AVI is probably the closest thing to raw footage that you can get. Um, and what I try to do is record in the highest quality. And um, even though like the file sizes are pretty big, um, I record as raw of a file as I can. And then I render, I edit and render it. And um, it makes it smaller, makes it more manageable for uploading to YouTube. Uh, but I do want to try to get the best quality video before the editing and rendering um, that I can, so it looks pretty decent on YouTube. Uh, so the video size is original because I have a 19 by 20 by 1080 resolution. Um, I record in 1080p, and since I'm always recording the entire screen, because if I'm recording games, I'm in full screen, um, then it's always 1080p, and I just keep it at original. Sometimes if you're not recording in full screen, um, if you record a maximized, for example, then if you use original and let's say you have a 1920 by 1080 screen it will be like 1920 by 1017 uh, because you have the taskbar and the top bar um, at the top of the window and uh, that can change the size so i would recommend that you always record in 16 by 9 if possible and um, definitely utilize full screen if your screen is a 16 by 9 monitor uh, so the next thing is video frame rate. Since YouTube does allow 60 FPS video, I record in 60 FPS. Also, I can play at 60 FPS and it's it's very good. It's it's very playable, I guess. Um, if you cannot record at 60 FPS, then I would suggest 30 or 29 if that's an option. Um, duration I don't use because really I can just hit the start button, hit the stop button when I'm done. Don't need to use a set duration. Uh, record system sounds i do use this for my tutorials and this is just so you can hear the feedback from the windows and everything um, it's not really anything too important but it is just something that keeps the video you know a little more alive um, and you don't really hear those very much uh, with a game so i just keep it on and um, use it for my tutorials uh, so allow multi-channel audio recording i do have enabled and then uh, my microphone is on always record and um, I don't use push to talk or anything ever always record it and I can cut out whatever I want to or don't need or anything like that uh, so all of these tabs I'm 
Not kidding, I don't really use at all. Um, they're all in the default settings. So I'm gonna skip that, don't wanna waste your time too much here. So on to the gear. Uh, so the general settings, this one is probably the most self-explanatory out of all of them, uh, but I will go through them quickly. Uh, so language, use use your language that you, you normally use because there's no reason to be using another language unless you want to learn it through mirrorless action, which would be interesting. Uh, so application window always on top. I have unchecked because it's just kind of annoying when windows do that. So I um, have that unchecked. Check for updates. I have that checked because you always want to check for updates. You always want to keep it updated because they always add good features and um, stability fixes and things to it um, when they can. Uh, so start application minimize to tray. I don't have that. I like having this window because um, I always have to select where I want the video to be saved. So I just have it open this window every time. Um, hide action window on a desktop recording start. I don't, I usually minimize it anyway, um, or minimize it to the tray anyway. Um, so I don't have that. Uh, enabled and I also needed to keep it up for this video and show action window when desktop recording is finished um, I don't have that enabled because I don't always do things with the clips after but um, if you Go from recording to managing the clips right after I would suggest turning that on because it's just a convenience thing Run action on Windows start. Um, I use my computer for other things I don't need action to open up every time I start my computer uh, force 30 bit per pixel desktop recording. I have not tried this out, but I don't have really any issues with desktop recording quality, um, but I may test that out at some point and I'll um, let you know or in an update or something in a comment or something like that, uh, how that works out. But um, I do think that it looks fine without it. Um, I don't exactly know if that's decreasing or increasing the quality. Uh, but if someone wants to test it out, let me know. Uh, so enable action, remote control. Um, I don't have that enabled. I don't use the remote control. Uh, recording settings. So the video recording settings, second part. This is like one of the more important parts of this video. So recording settings, video quality is high. Again, I try to record at the highest quality I can um, initially, and then I render it and make it a little bit more of a manageable size for uploading. Bitrate is 100%. Input range, all of the colors, 0 to 255. You want all of the colors, not just most of the colors. <laughs> use multi-core recording. Um, I have four cores, eight threads, so I do use that. Although the games that I usually record, at least for right now, um, probably would record the same, um, or at least it would, the performance would be the same without that on. Um, it can't hurt to have it on because I'm sure there's some points where um, it does actually help. Record mouse cursor. Um, I have that on because in tutorials, you know, you want to see where I'm pointing. Visualize mouse clicks. I don't have that on. That's a personal preference, but I really think it's annoying, so I don't have that on. Um, overlay graphics settings. I don't use overlay graphics, but I have tried it out and it actually works very well. Um, again, that's like depends what video rec you're recording, but you can turn those on here. Webcam settings, although this is not enabled right now, when I do a face cam, which is rare, but I do sometimes, I use only one webcam and um, it's always recording. And I um, have the size at 23%. Now, depending on your resolution, you might have to test that out, but I've found that 23% is a good size, not too big, not too small, um, but you can like see my face, you know, but it's not taking up too much of the other part of the video. And in the top right, that's sort of just a standard thing. Um, I've seen people in the bottom right uh, use it in the bottom right, but that's, again, personal preference. Depending on where other things are in the video, you may want to change that. And I convert it to a 4x3 video. Audio settings. Microphone settings here. System default is my Audio-Technica AT2020 USB, so you can select that from the drop-down, but that's just my system default, so if I plug in another mic or something, it just um, sets it up correctly. And then volume is 20. This takes some testing. Um, if you use the same audio settings on your entire computer, this will work, but definitely you have to test this out yourself. And you wanna be pretty loud, but you know you don't wanna be distorting the microphone or anything. Um, but you need to be loud enough that you can boost up the audio if you need to in uh, editing and then everything else will not be louder than you. Uh, record microphone into a separate audio track. 
Uh, AVI video does not actually allow this, so I don't have that on because it doesn't really do anything if you're using AVI video. I'm pretty sure I've never had it actually work with that, uh, but so I have that disabled. System sounds, system default. Audio balance, system sounds are at 16 and microphone is at 84. Um, and this you have to play around with. I believe it starts at 2575 or maybe 5050. I think it's like 5050. Um, but yes, you definitely want your system sounds to be like pretty far down and your microphone to be pretty far up because again, you want to be you want your voice to be very loud compared to the other sounds so that people can really hear you and then just slightly hear the system and game sounds and all that. Um, the bitrate is 320 kbps. This is what most songs and things, if you listen to Spotify or something, um, this is like what they are at and it sounds perfectly fine. They sound very clear. So I just use that. Um, that's, I believe, the default as well. Um, I guess it depends if your system default is that, but uh, that's what I use. It sounds good. I think we can all agree. Uh, so the HUD settings, I hide it during desktop recording because it doesn't remove it if like it's, it's actually in the video. Um, if you don't hide it for desktop recordings. Uh, do not record HUD in games and applications. Uh, so that is checked. So I don't I don't want to see it in the game. I just want to see it so I know that I'm recording and what FPS I'm recording at, but I don't need it to be in the video. Uh, hide HUD on action startup. Um, I have it displayed just so that I know it's there. Um, that's personal preference again. Show recorded webcams preview. I don't use this. I don't really use webcams very often. As you can see, I can't even enable it because I don't have a webcam plugged in. Uh, but if you want to preview your webcam before you record, then you can do that. Uh, so HUD startup position is always in the top right for me. Uh, but that, again, personal preference. Uh, but that's just like most games and pretty much anything. Top rate is a safe bet for like clear area. Export settings, I don't actually use this. Um, Mad Dog the Robot does use it if you know him. Um, he uses that and he's very happy with the way it comes out, but I don't know what settings to use for that. So unfortunately I can't really steer in the right direction there. Now all of these hotkeys are the default except for I change my record video to home uh, because nothing really uses the home button uh, no games or anything really use the home button, so um, I use that to start and stop my recording. I really don't use any of the other hotkeys. Um, I don't even use the webcam one because it's always recording. I always have it recording if I want it to. Uh, so really just the record video is all I use, but yeah, you can look at these. You can pause the video, look at those. Um, but yeah, those are my settings. I hope this helped you out if you're looking for this. If you weren't and you just wanted to stay along for the video, thanks. I appreciate it. And uh, make sure you check out Marillus Action if you're not familiar with it already. And if you did find this helpfully, like and a share would be greatly appreciated. It really does help me out, especially those shares. You know, one share could get three more people watching this video, and if they share it, it's just very exponential. So I do really appreciate it if you could share this. And if you're not already following me on Twitter, haven't liked the Facebook fan page, or are not following me on Google Plus. All of those links are down in the description below. Make sure you go check this out. Stay updated with me. And if you're not subscribed already, then make sure you subscribe for more gaming tutorials and reviews. Thanks for watching.